I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. This could be my scariest case yet. You're the new person, uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who stuck rooming with you. <laughs> I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming with me. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. But then I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. Which one is my bed? That one. Used to be Danielle's, my old roommate. She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you, some of the kids on this floor have been getting these like threatening notes from someone calling herself the black cat. Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> anyway, now that you're here, first thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France, Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days, but please, go on. Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full-ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. 
Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something, or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? Yeah, I got one about three days ago. No kidding. May I see it? Sorry. I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. When she got this, how did she react? She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. What about the second note? There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Where's that cello music coming from? Next door. That's Mel Corbelis. Has she gotten a black cat note? I'm not sure. Her roommate did, though. She's the one who got so sick she had to go home. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? What do you mean? It's just that... Well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. Whoa, watch it. Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. My hair's on fire? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. Where are you from? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. Chouette alors. Let me have your cell phone. My cell phone? Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Okay. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. It's already open. Come on in. Who are you? Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. I just moved into the room next door. Oh, yeah, you're the transfer, the one who got kicked out of some school in France? How did you know? The primary source of all wisdom and truth around here has been all a buzz. So I'm the source of rumors already? Welcome to Waverly. Where's your roommate? She's the one who was sent home because of an allergic reaction to something she ate after being cursed by the black cat. You sound a little skeptical. The black cat is just someone playing an idiotic prank. End of story. Of course, it's not the end of the story for my roommate, Megan, who wound up having to go home sick with an allergic reaction that almost killed her. But it's still a stupid prank. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Look, enough about the black cat. The other girls can buy into that garbage all they want, but the pea brain that's behind this, I refuse to give her the satisfaction. So if you have questions for Megan, I think you should call her yourself. 845 Five 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 one eight four nine. How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? Probably better than anybody. She doesn't have a lot of friends, but she's incredibly smart. Plus, she's a social outcast too, so we get along pretty well. What makes you say she's a social outcast? She's so desperate for people to like her, she gets on everyone's nerves. Me? I don't much care if people like me or not, but Corrine? She cares a lot. And it shows. You play that cello pretty well. Thank you. I taught myself to play when I was 10. Do you play any other instruments? Yeah, the keyboard. As in synthesizer, not computer. Although I'm pretty good with computers, too. I'd better get going. Drop in any time. Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? It's old, that's for sure. My great-great-great-grandmother made it. She was in the first class of students to graduate from here. 
Everybody in my family who attends Waverly has to hang that thing in a room. It's tradition. Did your mother graduate from here? And her mother and her mother's mother ad infinitum. I come from a long line of Waverly grads. I'm what you call a legacy. I was admitted automatically. You can come in. It's already open. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. That's me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. So, since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. But I don't know anything about web design. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work, take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. But it's my first day. I barely know my way around. Then this will be a great way to get oriented and meet people. I mean, you just met me, right? Uh, not really. I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Of course. Great. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. See you later, okay? Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? Becca Sawyer. I'm Leela Yadav. Welcome to Waverly. How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? I'm working on two papers, actually, but they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. That's too bad. Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel? Both, but mostly too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Why do you say that? She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? Oh yeah, I heard. See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid notes get to me. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. No problem. Fire when ready. You okay over there? Is there a problem? Is there a problem? Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? 
Not if I can help it. Why not? She's just a pain. She tries so hard to fit in that it turns people off. Most people, at least. Mel Corbalis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. I've bugged you enough for now. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough? That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. Looks like I need a key. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette Laura are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. You don't like Corinne either? Nobody likes Corinne. Why not? Because she's Corrine, and Corrine is just not cool. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corrine wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's gonna hold it against you. Do you like your roommate? My roommate's Leela Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine, probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day, you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Ready for my close-up, darling. Can we do this, please? I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She seems nice enough. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. What's your take on Mel? All that edgy, free spirit, deep thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. Maybe she really doesn't care. Everybody cares what other people think. In fact, if they don't, they're psychopaths. I just learned that in AP Psych. Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. I think the notes are kind of creepy. I think they're just a stupid distraction. And the person sending them should be expelled. Not that who that person is is any great mystery. It isn't? It's Mel. See, like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? Why the black cat? Why isn't this person sending notes from the black snake or the red spider or something? Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but supposedly there was a teacher here once a long time ago that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. I need to get going. Adios.